Hi everyone. Today we're going to read a story that sounds familiar. You know the story of the gingerbread man, don't you? Well, this one's a little different. This one's called The Jalapeno Man. Written by Debbie Leland, illustrated by Anne Hollis Rife. The Jalapeno Man. Way down south in a small Texas town called Salsa, where the sun sets, but the heat never rests, where fire ants build mounds as big as houses, and the Rio Grande River runs hotter than lava, lived a little old rancher and his wife. And being as everything was so hot in Salsa, when the little old rancher's wife went to bake a special gingerbread surprise for her husband, she gathered the spiciest jalapeno and chili pecan peppers she could find. The little old rancher's wife wanted to make a real gingerbread vaquero, so she decorated him with a ten-gallon jalapeno hat, a pair of pointy-toed jalapeno boots, a black licorice lasso, and a set of silver ball spurs. She used a chili pepper for his mouth and a pecan for the buckle of his belt. Just as she put the last swirl on his blue bandana, that cowboy jumped off the plate and shouted, yippee yay yay ran across the floor, out the swinging doors, across the front porch, and down the gravel driveway like a bandit running from the law. Oh my, shouted the little old rancher's wife running after him. Come back, come back, shouted the little old rancher who was mending a barbed wire fence. Yee-haw, shouted the gingerbread cowboy. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the red-hot jalapeno man. He ran into a field where blue bonnets rolled like ocean waves, where Mexican hats two-stepped with black-eyed Susans, and Indian paintbrushes grew as wild as mustangs. He passed a steer grazing in the grass. Stop! Stop! shouted the longhorn steer. You smell sweeter than summer rain. Yee-haw! he shouted. I ran away from a little old rancher and his wife. And I can run away from you too. I can, I can. I'm the red-hot jalapeno man. He ran past prickly pear cacti with thorns as sharp as a porcupine's quills, and with flowers so rich in color they looked as if the sun had stopped by and dripped into each one. He nearly tripped over an armadillo asleep in the brush. Stop! Stop! shouted the armadillo. I'm as hungry as a cowboy coming off the range. Yee-haw, he shouted. I ran away from a little old rancher and his wife and a longhorn steer. And I can run away from you too, I can, I can. I'm the red-hot jalapeno man. He ran into a pasture where oil wells pumped up and down with the rhythm of a fiddle-playing band and where pecan trees polkaed while yuccas cotton-eyed jode in the silhouette of the setting sun. He ran past a band of javelinas. Stop! Stop! shouted the javelinas. You'll taste much better than these mesquite beans. Yee-haw! he shouted. I ran away from a little old rancher and his wife, a longhorn steer, and an armadillo. And I can run away from you, too. I can, I can. I'm the red-hot jalapeno man. And it kept running. He ran past wooden windmills, spinning faster than wagon wheels, faster than West Texas tumbleweeds, faster than thunderstorms rolling across the plains. 
It ran past a palomino racing up a hill. Stop! Stop! shouted the palomino stallion, raising his front legs high into the air. Yee-haw! he shouted. I ran away from a little old rancher and his wife, a longhorn steer, an armadillo, and a band of javelinas. And I can run away from you too, I can, I can. I'm the red hot jalapeno man. He ran past fields where cotton looked like snow, where road runners pretended to be sheriffs, and tarantulas were the deputies. He passed a rattlesnake sunning on a rock. Stop, shouted the diamondback rattlesnake shaking his tail like maracas in a mariachi band. I could swallow you whole. Yee-haw, he shouted. I ran away from a little old rancher and his wife, a longhorn steer, an armadillo, band of javelinas, and a palomino stallion. I can run away from you too, I can, I can. I'm a red-hot jalapeno man. Now, by this time, the jalapeno man was positive that no one could catch him. Not the black-tailed jackrabbit, not the white-tailed deer, not even the red-tailed hawk. Hmm. The jalapeno man noticed the coyote following him. Uh-oh. He turned and shouted, You can't catch me, no one can. Oh, my, said the clever coyote. Even I wouldn't try to catch you. I mean, even if I could. The jalapeno man ran until he came to the bank of the Rio Grande River. He didn't dare jump into the water. Oh, no! If he did, it would crumble faster than a mockingbird changes songs when she sings. But if he didn't cross the river, the posse would catch him as sure as a horned toad catches flies for breakfast. Oh dear, I hope he doesn't trust that coyote. Jump on my tail and I swim across with you, the coyote offered with an innocent grin. The jalapeno man jumped on the coyote's tail. The coyote slid into the river. Splash! Blub, 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 blub. As they reached the middle of the river, the coyote said, It's getting deeper. Maybe you should climb onto my back. The jalapeno man jumped onto the coyote's back. When they were nearly to the other side of the river, the coyote said, You might get wet. Maybe you should jump onto my nose. Jalapeno man jumped onto the coyote's nose. As soon as the coyote stepped out of the river, he threw his head back and flipped the jalapeno man like a bucking bronco tossing a buckaroo off his back. Snip, snap, snip. The coyote licked his lips. The posse arrived at the edge of the Rio Grande just in time to see the coyote running up the bank, breathing fire with every breath. Hot, 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 hot! That jalapeno man was hotter than a hundred scorpion stings, hotter than the Texas sun at high noon, hotter than a branding iron right out of the coals. The coyote ran to the top of the mesa and howled. Arrow! He howled all through the night until he nearly melted the moon. He had some bad jalapeno breath. I'll walk a mile across burning coals, said the coyote. I'll sit on a thousand cacti. But as long as I live, I'll never ever eat another jalapeno man again. And that was the end of the Jalapeno Man.